All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the Don't start the video okay. like that. That's fucking AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Magic Johnson. <laughs> All right, welcome back to True Footy, featuring Drewzy. How are you, mate? Very well, thank you. How well, are you? Good, mate. You would have seen, of course, the AFL fixtures come out. And funnily enough, that's what we're going to talk about today. In today's video, we're going to talk about the 10 games we're most excited to see in 2021. What do you think of the opening fixture every year at Richmond Carlton? Because this gets a little bit of a debate every year. I like it, eh? It's always good seeing Carlton get slapped after breaking my heart year after year. <laughs> so feed them the premiers. It is always a crap game. Yeah, no, it always is a bit of a stinker, but it's just always good to see footy again. If you had, like, a blockbuster and then there were stinkers after it, I don't mm. know, it's good to chuck in a stinker just to, like, yeah, mm. footy's back, but it'll get better as the years progress, I think, with Carlton developing. Richmond and Carlton have kind of, like, swerved each other in terms of Carlton was good when Richmond was terrible, now mm. Richmond's ter uh, really good, and then Carlton's terrible now. That's a car. <laughs> Stupid cars. But you're right, the reason they don't have like a hell blockbuster game in the opening game of the year is because people are going to get around this game anyway. So mm. you wouldn't have last year's grand finalist, Geelong and Richmond. You wouldn't put that the first game of the year because yeah. everyone's going to go to that game anyway. You want the most eyes on Richmond and Carlton because, like, I don't know about you when it's the first game of the season, I'm with that stupid fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck Gold Coast and North Melbourne on the first fixture, bro. Box office. Yeah, true. <laughs> Probably sell out the MCG. No, nah, not really. <laughs> You're definitely not going to keep that in uh, I fucking hate this Yep, so we've gone ahead and picked the 10 games We're most excited for this season We'll start in chronological order And I'm actually going to start with the second game of the season, Drews mm -hmm. Collingwood is taking on the Western Bulldogs Round 1, Friday night at the MCG I think that's exactly what they did this year um, After Richmond and Carlton The second game was Collingwood and the Bulldogs at Marvel Collingwood absolutely slapped them But this time this time, it's the Adam Trelaw rematch game. Ooh. They're going to go head-to-head -head on a Friday night, which is hopefully going to have people in the stands, yeah. unlike the uh, of round one, of course, of this year. Highs had a tough year this year. I think they're going to make amends. I think these are two relatively evenly ranked sides, both yeah. around that top six range. I know I had the dogs outside my top eight in my ladder prediction, but I kind of just threw that in there as like a quiet stinker. Just to make a bit of controversy. Yeah, yeah. a little bit. Well, yeah, the differential in the last game will probably be, you know, tipped in favour of, of Bulldogs have gained more ground, gaining Trelaw and Collingwood losing them. It's mm. just like big gain and big loss and we'll even it out. Yeah, I hope Trelaw just has an absolute ball in that game, hey? I do too. I'm going to say the Pies win though. What do you reckon? Well, it's, it's too, a bit early to say, Jesse, but <laughs> I'm going to go, I'll go the dog. Yeah, the Pies stunk it up in the last game of the season, um, had a stinky trade period. They're just on a string of L's. I wouldn't be surprised to see them lose the first game of the season. Interesting. Differing opinions already. Nice. Round four is another blockbuster. It's Port Adelaide and Richmond, the top-ranked side in 2020 versus the Premiers. Both games they had were absolute blockbusters this year. Obviously, that prelim was nutty. Um, and yeah, first game... Port Adelaide won it, so you know one one at the moment, early in the season. But that's a that's a huge game. Yeah, exactly. And Richmond are a little bit vulnerable early in the season because they kind of time their run late each year. Who are you thinking for this one? I'm gonna say Port Adelaide. Yeah, I, I, oh, Port during the season are a bit different to in the finals. I think. Yeah. Um, Richmond always show up to the big games, but um, oh. I'll, I'll go Richard. Differing opinions. Ah. Nice. <laughs> All right, the third game we're going to nominate is my WA bias nomination. West Coast versus Collingwood at Optus Stadium um, in round five. They actually play again uh, in round 20 at the MCG, so you can kind of like pick whichever one you want. Both of these games are going to be hot. Mm. Um, they play each other twice, and yeah, maybe you could say the round 20 game would have more bearing on the finals. But either way, uh, these two teams have a really, really good rivalry, especially in Perth, Collingwood. Two of the last three times, they've beaten us by a point. Then they had a horrible game in between where we belted them, but yep. that wasn't really like indicative of how good they are. I think these two teams, again, around the mark to push for top four. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to see a really good game again. I could probably see us winning the Perth one and losing the Melbourne one, but with these two teams, I could see us losing the Perth one and winning the Melbourne yeah, one. So, I was going to yeah. say, yeah. Because Eagles always had that like notion that they can't play at the G and then mm. beat Collingwood at the G twice mm. in that 2018 season. Becoming a really good rivalry, that. Two games <laughs> separated by a point, one grand final. I'll, I'll go with the Eagles at home. Uh, uh, <laughs> fuck you know. <laughs> in round seven, Brisbane are playing Port. Now, team one and team two of 2020. Two teams. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fucking stupid Mike. It was Mike. <laughs> Wazowski. Team that finished first and second on the ladder, but teams that still, you know, they've got a lot left to give. They, they haven't peaked yet and they're still going to be on the rise. So the Lions have won the last three meetings between the two sides. Um, but, you know, Port are always on the, on the improve, on the up, um, adding two players, 
great players over the off season. I think they had a better trade period. I think they've strengthened more than the Lions have. So it could throw an extra spanner in the work and make this one a, a blockbusting clash. Blockbusting indeed. <laughs> yeah, I think the fact that this is the Gabba and the fact that the Lions are pretty hard to beat at the Gabba, especially for Port, who lost the last two games against them there. I'm going to say the Lions at this stage, at this very, very early stage, um, are going to win that game. But if I'm not mistaken, Drews, we've just gone through four absolutely top-notch games all in the first seven rounds. I think the top eight's very dense these days. Like, only good teams make the top eight. Because there has been seasons where, like, you, you do get a couple of stinkers sneaking into the top eight. My next nomination is an obvious one, the grand final replay. You're going to see it in round eight and in 19 of next year, both of the MCG. So toss up which one you want to include. <laughs> Who was in the grand final last year? What teams are you talking about? Sorry, I had to completely just gloss over that completely. I'm talking about <laughs> Richmond posting Geelong. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, both games are at the MCG. Who's going to win either of these games? Again, it's too hard to say. I'd say early in the season, Richmond generally are a bit vulnerable. So that's when I could say Ge Geelong win the first one. And then I think in round 19, Richmond will be red hot to go. So I'm going to say it's either 2-0 to Richmond or Geelong 1-1. One one. Richmond haven't strengthened and Geelong have added Jeremy Cameron, Isaac Smith, a lot more dense. <laughs> I need to stop saying dense. Um, I think they'll take a lot away from the grand final. Played a great half. It's got to play two halves. That's how you win games of football. I'm back in Geelong to win both. Oh, that's naughty. I like it. Differing opinions. You're, you're going to keep that in? Would you put that in a video? <laughs> we'll see what happens, buddy. We'll see what happens. In round 10, Jesse, we got Richmond and Brisbane. That's at the Gabba. And last time they played at the Gabba, it was a sick game. I was sitting in my bedroom. I've got a video of me reacting to it, just losing my shit watching this game. Brisbane beat the Premiers at the Gabba. It's the same fixture, so I'm just keen as for it. Yeah, that, that was a sick game because I think Richmond had won like 15 on the trot against Brisbane and they had the massive wood over them, so to speak. Uh, and then obviously, I didn't really, and a lot of people didn't give um, Brisbane that much respect going into that game. And the performance they turned in was amazing. So... I think, I think they played later in the year at the MCG, if I'm not mistaken. So if this game was at the MCG, I would say Richmond would clobber them because yeah. of Richmond's so good at the G and the Lions are not yet. Yeah. That could make me look silly. Yeah. But at the Gabba, I'm going to say the Lions are a good chance if it's still by round 10. I'll lock in the premiers for that. Yeah, fair enough. Next up, we've got a replay of last year's exciting semi-final. There was quite a few good uh, finals last year, but this one was among the best. Western Bulldogs and St. Kilda at Marvel Stadium. Uh, two teams uh, that are outside of the top four that could potentially you know, compete for a spot in that top four, both young sure. up-and-coming sides. And they're, if they do compete for the top four, they're probably competing for the same spot. That's why I think yeah. this could be a really, really good game. Um, and both teams have actually recruited heavily, obviously with Trelaw going to the Dogs, etc. And St. Kilda have got Crouch and Higgins. Mm -hmm. Both plenty of reason to, to improve. I think this could be a real juicy, fat game. Yeah, it was probably my favourite game of the final series, actually, because like each quarter, it was like the momentum was swinging. True. Both added like all Australians to their lineups, so it's just going to be amplified. Yeah, I'm really keen for this. Saints won it last time. I'll, I'll go the dogs. Dogs to get their vengeance. I'm actually in your back in St Kilda for once. Well, actually, just differing. Yeah, we? yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like the Saints have uh, have earned favoritism in round ten of next year. So. <laughs> <laughs> now, in round eleven, always a big game: Collingwood versus Geelong. Um, two juggernauts off the competition. Although Geelong absolutely slaughtered Collingwood in the semi, they might be up for making amends here. Yeah, I think if the Pies make amends in this game, they could create a few semis of their own. <laughs> Collingwood, yeah, are a fringe... Well, this season they are a fringe eight, so I didn't show what they could offer. But in the middle of a season, this is a huge game for them to potentially solidify their spot in the top eight if they get a good start to the season. Huge game for Collingwood, and it would be a great win for Geelong as well. Other than that semi, the Pies have won the previous two against the Cats, so they kind of have good form against them. I personally still back the Pies as a half-decent team this year, so I think this will be a good game. Who are you tipping? I'm going to say you probably have to give the favouritism to the Cats, but a Pies upset is definitely on, like, it's probably 60-40 for me. Yeah, I'll go the Cats. Next up, I'm including Collingwood again, and I might cop a little bit of, uh, like, you know, banter for this because of how average Collingwood were last year. Richmond versus Collingwood, round 17 at the MCG. This is kind of like the grand final that kind of went begging, especially 19, I think, the way Collingwood bottled that prelim against the Giants, who played really well, but... It was, the, it was the one that got away for Collingwood, and yeah. I think Richmond versus Collingwood would be, would be such a sick grand final if it did happen. I don't think it'll happen this year, but either way, it's probably the two biggest Victorian clubs right now for sure. going head-to-head. -head. And I, like I said, I think Collingwood will be around that top six range. This is six weeks before the finals, and the Pies, they probably do have what it takes to knock Richmond off, but again, 
late in the season is when Richmond, you know, feast on teams. So I'll say Richmond win this, but uh, it's a game I'm definitely looking forward to. It's one to. of those fixtures that can always go either way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I uh, nobody saw that prelim coming in 18. Exactly. So I'll, I'll lock in the Tigers just off current form, really. Yeah. Yeah. They did yeah. draw last year as well. True. So a little bit of a juicy trivia. Yes, they did draw. I forgot about that. So in round 21, getting deep into the season here. We got Geelong versus GWS. It is at GMHBA. Um, so, you know, Geelong could run away with it. Although, you know... Wait, what am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, Geelong and GWS. Two teams that have faced the wrath of Richmond. GWS absolutely stinked it up the season after they lost in the grand final. Don't see Geelong doing the same. Although, it happened to Adelaide a few seasons before as well. Lost the grand final. Stinked. Mm. GWS lost the grand final. Smelly. Now, Geelong versus GWS... You know, there's a mate, fart brewing. <laughs> there is there is a possible fart brewing, but it could grow into something explosive. It could be an absolute clash. Yeah. Don't forget that Jeremy Cameron has transferred from GWS to Geelong, so it is also like I don't transferred. Know. Yeah, transfer. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the Premier League. Yeah, man. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing a fucking Jesse Lingard shirt of Fuck all people as well. Jay Ling's mate. Jay Ling's. Jeremy Cameron will be at the Cattery, so there'll be a bit of spice in it for that as well. I think GWS definitely have what it takes to come back up the ladder this year. And I think by round 21, they're still going to be relevant, which is why I think this is game is in the top 10. And it would be awesome if they pull off like an upset to sort of show Jeremy Cameron that he maybe not made the wrong move, but it would just yeah. be a nice little revenge game. It'll just show the complete like Jeremy Cameron factor. Like what mm. have GWS lost and what have Geelong gained? Yeah. So there'll be a lot to read into in this game. Well, I'm going to say at GW, GMHBA, even though the Giants won their last game there, you'd tip Geelong pretty much every time they play at home. What do you yeah, reckon? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I feel the same. Agree. Agree. All right, so that's the 10 we went with for the 10 most hotly anticipated games of the year. Drewsy, your club didn't feature in this list. Is there any game in particular you'd like to see uh, from a Fremantle perspective? I'm absolutely rotten about you, Jesse, not putting in the Dockers because I'm that keen for Dockers versus Carlton. I think we played twice this year, and that's that's a bit of a, a stinky rivalry brewing there. <laughs> the, the Battle of 12th, um, as I like to call it. But no, I think Dockers have been very, very, very unlucky to not beat Carlton on the last two meetings. So I'm just itching for that one because oh, I just love to do Carlton in just once now because I'm just... Needs to happen. If we could do the double over Carlton, it'd just be like, yes, we are a better team than you. Yes, you've made it. Yeah, or well, no. <laughs> but I, I just think we're better than Carlton, and both times we've lost in just absolutely terrible fashion, like heartbreaking fashion both times. So I'm just itching for a win against Carlton. Yeah. Those are the fixtures I'm looking forward to, and obviously the derbies are always true. good fun. Yeah, that's true, for sure. I think for me, uh, obviously I mentioned Eagles Collingwood, but we also have Richmond in Perth this year as well, and it's good yeah. to cut Richmond in Perth because I, I think we'll get them get them done yeah um but on the other fl uh, flip side of that we do have away trips to the scg gmhba and even the gabber in the final round you can fucking just take those off with losses right now <laughs> so we've got to make all the home games count all right guys that's the 10 games we went with and a little bit of a look at our own clubs let us know in the comments what you thought of the fixtures what games are you looking forward to what games are you dreading as a fan also while you're there make sure you sub to my good friend druzy link in the description um very recently just past <laughs> 2,000 subscribers um and he's making some good content as well so definitely go check out his channel watchable content I wouldn't say good it's past the time go watch Cardman 22 and me trying if you want some good footy content <laughs> but nah thanks for having me on no worries man we'll see you in the next video guys cheers